In this video, we will look at how we can use MQTT, which is a published subscribe communication protocol, to communicate messages from the Axis network cameras to other devices in our network. Uh, or it could actually be in the cloud too, using for example AWS IoT Core. Uh, but in this video, we're going to use the Mosquito um, MQTT broker that we run on our own developer computer to send uh, messages from the um, camera applications to our computer. Um, so when using an Edge application, an ACAP application in the Access cameras, there are multiple ways they can communicate with the outside world. One of them is by using events. Uh, and uh, you can produce events from your own ACAP applications um, and also official access applications often produce um, some kind of events like uh, uh, the um, access object analytics or the barcode reader that we're going to use in this particular example. Um, so what we're going to do is to forward events on the MQTT bus to our computer where we can make use of them in other applications or in Python script for example. Going to the camera, we can see that uh, this is our view from the camera and we can now go to settings and MQTT where we have the settings for the MQTT client in the camera. So the MQTT client can be used to forward um, events in the Axis camera event bus to an external MQTT broker. And we're going to run the broker on our developer um, computer, which is an Ubuntu computer. So the um, broker that we're going to use here is called Mosquito. If you're on Ubuntu, you can do sudo apt install Mosquito. And uh, to follow along with this and subscribe and produce events from the terminal, you also want to have Mosquito clients. Um, so I've already um, installed these. So um, they are running, or rather the Mosquito broker is running since it is a server that is running for systemd. So if we run this command, we can see the status um, of the service and that it, it is indeed running. Um, so the next thing I will do is to um, configure the camera to connect to my um, computer. So this is the IP address of my computer. Um, MQTT over TCP is the default um, setting for Mosquito and 1883 is the default port for that. Um, by default, Mosquito is also not configured to use credentials. So we use, leave the username and password field blank. Uh, and the client ID will be the ID when the camera connects to the broker. Um, we have a keep alive interval and timeout, um, which we can set to 60 seconds. Uh, and this basically means that every 60 second um, we will send a um, message to the broker that isn't um, seen, that is part of the MQTT specification, a heartbeat message or a keep alive message. And if that message doesn't go um, forward, then we try to reconnect um, to the broker. So this is useful to detect if you're actually lost connection with um, the server or not. And you can also send connect messages and um, last will and testament. So essentially a connect message will be sent when the camera connects to the broker and the last will and testament will be sent but held back by the server. Uh, which means that uh, if the connection to the camera gets lost, for example, if I pull the power plug, uh, this last will and testament should be sent to the message um, broker. Um, and since it is already sent at connect time and hold back by the server, that means that um, it will actually um, always be sent regardless of what the um, connection issue is. Uh, we're not going to look more into that right now. Uh, instead, we're going to um, connect this camera, but before we do that, we're going to do mosquito sub, which is uh, the command we use to subscribe to the broker. And we're going to subscribe to the topic hashtag, which means um, all messages or all topics at all levels. And we're also going to supply the verbose option so we can see what topic um, the device is connected to or the message is sent to. Um, so here we can see that we already got a few messages. Uh, this is um, messages that are published as retained messages, uh, which means that they are um, hold, uh, they, they are kept by the Mosquito server um, and um, published to a new client every time a new client connects. So right now we can just ignore these messages. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to configure 
um, a forward of our event from the barcode scanner to the MQTT bus. So events on the event system is not normally reflected on the MQTT um, service. So we need to um, add a condition here and we can select found a barcode, which is the event produced by the access barcode application. Um, we can use the default um, values here and or see the topics and um, where it will um, publish the message. And we can select retain uh, if it should um, retain the message or not. Uh, in my case, I just want it as a um, momentary uh, trigger, so we don't need to maintain it or retain it. But if you want to know the last known state, for example, then you can retain the message and it will be stored by the Mosquito um, server or the Mosquito broker. And then we can set the quality of service. So quality of service essentially means the guarantee that the message will get to the server um, when we send it. So we can have level zero, which means that um, we will get it sent um, at most once. So essentially this means that the application will send the message once and hopefully it will um, get all the way to the server, but we don't verify it. Or we can do um, at least once, level one, uh, which means that the server will um, send messages to, or the client will send messages to the server until we get a confirmation from the server that the message is actually received. But the downside with this is that uh, we might get the message more than once. And then we have level two, which means exactly once. So essentially we will have a communication between the server and the client, uh, which guarantees that each message we send from the client will get published exactly once on the server side. As long as we have a connection, of course, otherwise we can't guarantee anything. So the only reason not to use the level two here um, would be that it is slightly more complex communications. So it will be more network traffic, but uh, it's um, a very lightweight protocol. So um, that shouldn't be any issue. So we now have this configured. Um, and if we go back to the stream page, and if I hold up a QR code here in front of the camera, we should see a message published. So here we can see um, the message that was published to the broker. Um, so it's published on this topic. And the payload is what we can see um, here. So the payload, payload includes the timestamp, uh, it includes the serial number of the device, and it includes uh, the message, which is the event information. So in this case, the um, access barcode scanner um, has um, one item um, in the um, in the event, which is the um, or actually two two items that we're interested in. So it specifies what type of QR code is it, or rather what type of barcode is it? Is it a barcode or is it a QR code, and so forth? And what is the data within the code? So it has decoded the value uh, in the code here um, and found out that the value encoded in the code is fixedit.ai. So using this way, we can get the information um, from the event bus on the camera sent to another device. But we can also do the opposite and send information from other devices to the cameras. And to do this, we're going back to MQTT again, and we're going to MQTT subscriptions instead of publication. And uh, let's delete my old um, subscription here, and we can add a new subscription. So here we're going to specify which topic we want to subscribe to. And I'm going to use this prefix here, followed by overlay since that's what I'm going to control with this message. And we can either have um, with device prefix or not. Um, if we do that, we will get the same prefix as we have in the events published. For simplicity, now I'm just going to remove this. Um, but if you have many devices, that makes sense to use that. And for subscription type, we can choose of stateless or stateful. For State uh, less, it means that it is just a trigger. Uh, when we receive the event, there is a momentaneous trigger. Um, but I want something with a duration. Um, so I'm going to select stateful. Uh, because what I'm going to do here is to control and overlay on the video. 
um, so that the overlay text can either be active or not active, which means um, stateful, since it has these two states and, all of, uh, and it always have one of the states. Again, I'm going to select quality of service two. So we have now um, produced this subscription or configured this subscription, which will produce an event on our event bus whenever we receive a message to this topic. So as of now, this won't do anything that we can see, but if we go to the events tab, we can add a rule and we can name it overlay from MQTT. And we're going to select the MQTT and stateful event. And since we just have one um, configured, uh, we see this automatically here. And we're not going to use device topic prefix um, as same as before. And we're going to filter on the payload. So when the payload is on, we're going to have this condition um, active. And when the condition is um, active, sorry, we shouldn't add a new condition. Um, when the condition is active, the action we're going to perform is to produce an overlay text and we want to produce it or keep the text while the rule is active. So uh, while the topic is on, um, we um, show an overlay text. We're going to show the view area one and I'm going to um, add the text overlay from MQTT is active. So we have now configured an event rule, which is triggered by our subscription on the MQTT bus um, that will then create a text overlay. So the next thing we need to configure is how the overlay should be visualized. Otherwise we won't see it. Um, so on view area one, which is the one we selected in the event, we create a new overlay text. And to show the content of an overlay text, uh, we're going to use the uh, modifier percent %d. Uh, you can also find the modifiers by pressing here. Um, I'm going to place it somewhere here in the middle and make it a bit uh, bigger, uh, perhaps a bit more to the left. So there we go with the overlay. Um, now we can go back to stream and we see that we don't have anything now. But if I um, copy this prefix, and then open a new terminal and we do um, use mosquito pub for publishing and uh, mosquito sub for subscribing and mosquito pub for publishing and we're going to publish to the topic uh, device client overlay which is the topic that we specified to subscribe to and we're going to publish the message on And we can now see that we get the overlay on the screen. And since it's a stateful event, I can publish something else then on that will remove the, remove the overlay again. So this is how we can com communicate from other devices to the camera. And we could of course use, uh, use these events in any way we want in the event rule to make um, more interesting or more useful um, actions based on it. So that was two ways to use the MQTT to extract events from the camera and to inject events in the camera from other devices.